I know standardized tests can be kind of scary, but you're going to do awesome. It's amazing that you're taking this step to go to college, so congrats on that. Um, you've already put in so much work. My ACT advice is to get plenty of sleep before the test. I did not get enough sleep and I fell asleep during the math section and my grade dropped a bunch. Um, that was second time ticket, so don't do that. Wake up plenty early before the test and eat a big healthy breakfast. Your brain will thank you. Um, the morning of the ACT, I think that it's super awesome to have some caffeine if that's something you do. So for me, I would drink a big cup of black tea, honey. I would eat probably a really delicious bagel sandwich and maybe a big glass of orange juice too. Eh, cuando yo um, estaba tomando el ACT, um, yo lo tomé dos veces y la primera vez no hice muy bien, pero la segunda vez que lo tomé, um, mis uh, puntajes subió muy alto. Entonces algo que pienso que es bueno para estudiantes que sepan es que tomen los, las más prácticas que puedan porque eso ayuda a um, que te sientas uh, bien para tomar el examen. Um, maybe choose a few things that you want to brush up on um, and review, but don't try to learn everything right before. And if you're feeling a little overwhelmed about where you want to focus, I would just focus on a couple key sections that you feel like you need the most work on and they can really improve your overall score and your overall um, possibilities when it comes to applying to colleges. Uh, answer every question, even if you don't know, it's better to fill it in because then you might guess right. Something that I want to remind students when they're taking a standardized test is to come up with a positive self-talk mantra that gets you excited and feeling comfortable. Something that I use with my students is repeating over and over again, I am confident, I am hardworking, and I deserve to do well on this test. And in moments of confusion or doubt, you can just remind yourself and close your eyes and say, I am confident, I am hardworking, and I deserve to do well on this test, or whatever phrase feels really good to you. And that'll get you through those moments when you're feeling a little unsure. So in terms of dealing with test anxiety, I would suggest just recognizing that you only have so much control and um, at a certain point more I think more practice won't necessarily help like if you're sacrificing sleep and eating. Um, algo que yo le dijera a alguien tomando el examen es que tomen su tiempo y también que sus nervios, todos tenemos nervios pero después de tomar el examen nada más que se relajen y que piensen que si lo pueden hacer porque hay muchas personas que sí lo han, han hecho antes y ustedes van a ser los siguientes que lo hacen. Don't stress. Uh, take a little bit of time to breathe if you're feeling stressed or nervous. Um, just closing your eyes for a minute and taking a deep breath can go a long way. And after the test, don't forget to celebrate. My ideal post ACT celebration would probably be like going to just get a coffee with like friends afterwards because um, you know it's always good to celebrate like getting through that you know four and a half hour test um, and it's really cool to relax and just have a, a good time with friends. So. so in order to celebrate the ACT, I'm a big proponent of taking a really long hot shower and sitting in a robe and watching TV and then that evening hanging out with friends and like going through it all and kind of debriefing it. Um, but really acknowledging how much hard work went into it and how hard um, I did to make that happen for myself and how I'm opening so many doors by just being there and showing up. And I really believe that showing up is half the battle. And just remember that you are more than your score. We'll keep supporting you no matter what. Keep working at it, but you are more than a number.